So this is straightforward. Sensei was in a tank for the evil people. Who, who are the evil people? Does anyone know who the evil people are? There's lots of people that do evil things, but who are the evil people? Of the of the rainbow? What? When a lightning bolt struck him. <laughs> oh my god. And this hurts, and it happened three times because there are the rainbow people felt sorry for him. They let him ride a unicorn. Okay, that was nice. Um, I'm not sure where the narrative is, um, but Sally, that was nice. They let him ride a unicorn in the end. Okay, so we got him. We have Josh. He got Sue in a look -a lolly Okay, Josh, I don't know what that means. But thank you for writing it, nevertheless. Um, Joseph. He got hit by an asteroid and then a monkey rammed a chisel into his head. <coughs> listen, listen, let's just get one thing straight, Joseph. If a chimpanzee, which is five times the strength of a human, chiseled me in the head with a chisel, a wood chisel, it would go probably straight through my skull and I'd be like, because it'd go into my brain and kill me. They wouldn't just go that, 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 that and just leave these light wounds on the surface. Oh, Joseph. Right. Oh, this is Monhan. Because he got hurt, his head, he have to put it in an oven and then switch oven on and light match. Monhan. What? Just because I got injured in my head and had to go to hospital, I've now got to blow myself up in an oven just to keep you happy. I think not. <laughs> Strange child. Right. You were on a boat and you fell out of the boat and a shark bit you. Okay, that's good good theory there, Ronnie. Not what happened. Very neat handwriting, by the way, Zach. Sensei was teaching a class and out of nowhere got and made a set of monkey bars and started smacking his head against the chairs like a crazy lunatic. <laughs> Smashing my head into chairs. That's, that's an interesting one, Zach. Interesting. Um, this is from Agnes. I think it's Agnes. You were watching Peppa Pig. 45 years old. I, I, I couldn't be able to, I couldn't concentrate on Peppa Pig. And the TV set on fire. Why would it just set on fire for no reason? And you changed into it with your, charged into it with your head and an axe. What? So I just went, oh, Peppa Pig TV's on fire. Ah, psh, ah, with an axe. <laughs> Why would I do that? I think the reason that you got an operation is because of all the fights you've been over the years and you have got quite a lot of brain damage. Which is the reason you're always a bit loopy, because of all the brain damage. You know the brain damage you've got. I think you had to have an operation on your skull because you are not all the ticket and you have severe brain damage. Signed Anonymous. Good assassination attempt. No, I don't have brain damage. I have had a lot of fights and I have had a lot of concussions. I don't have brain damage and I've had a fractured skull a couple of times. Sensei was walking, oh, no, I know this will be a good one because a million of friends were laughing hysterically at this one when she was writing it. And it's from Millie. Sensei Dan was walking down the street and he walked past an old grumpy woman and she thought it would be a good idea to whack him around the with her handbag. Uh, he, and then he went crazy and the police came and they blamed him and uh, arrested him and put him in a mental asylum where he belonged. Really? Really? Really, really? I, I ended up in a mental asylum. And how am I here now? Next one is a big picture with paint on it. Uh, oh, here it is, right in the top left hand corner. No name, hit on the head with a brick. That's what happened to me. No, that's not what happened. We have another one here. Oh, God. Um, whatever this is. Right. Sensei Dan was home chilling after a long day doing lots of karate, doing something else. 
he loves making models and that on the table giving bits and pieces to jelly he got an itchy head and forgot he had glue on his fingers needless to say since they stuck three of his fingers to his head having to go to hospital to have them removed Sensei now has three stitches in the back of his head where his fingers once were glued for three hours. And he taught a lesson today with his fingers glued to his head. And you should also wash your hands after the toilet, especially if you've been using a glue stick. I have no idea who that's from, no name. So again, it's another anonymous one. Oh, I think it might have been from Winter. Right. No, that one I know read was from Winter. Right, that one was from Winter. Sir got abducted by aliens and they drilled holes in his head, yet his brains to use for medicines to invade Earth. Machines. Machines. Oh, sorry. They're used by brain matter for machines to invade Earth. Two pager here. I, this is Robert and Sam. Right, the tale of senseless Dan, not sensei, senseless, so there we go, right. One night about 10.30 p.m., if you must know, a demon was released. Its name was senseless Dan, what? <laughs> the alter ego of sensei Dan, created from all the pent up rage of teaching white belts, or white belts. It wouldn't make a difference if they were halfway through the car, just did not practice in capital letters. Um, a mutter escaped his lips. Just damn practice. He creaked. He creaked to his feet and cackled maniacally, slamming his way through the doorway and ran out with no regard for his own personal safety whatsoever. He crashed into walls, cards, cricket bats, and even lit lit the engine of a lorry on fire with a bottle of hand sanitizer and a match. And then he decided to, his greatest exploit, of raiding the police station, just for the hell of it. So he rushed towards it, shoulder barging through a brick wall and straight into a moving police car. It took his legs from under him and in one fell sweep and, his, and he flipped onto his back with an audible crack resonating from his head. He then got up unfazed and ran into the local hospital where he would scream for people to practice karate but then he got knocked out because it was gam and which was sensei dan i don't understand control again so, oh it was sensei dan was in control again he woke up with three stitches in his head because the doctor had taken his brain to study it for science but at the end of the day having a brain didn't make any difference to his intellect either Robert and Sam. Well, thank you, Robert and Sam. Um, uh, according to Robert and Sam, I'm some kind of raging maniac that's possessed by a demon that smashes up the entire city when people don't practice their cat properly. Right, in first and second place, we have both Millie first place and Sally second place, and both you two will win one of these belt boxes. They're magnetized, they're high quality, you can see with magnets and they're very very nice they're nice wood frame. we've got lots of these for sale so if anybody else wants one of these they're more than welcome okay we're they're going for about 15 pounds at the moment so if anyone wants one let us know on our email in third place we have sam and robert and i decided to give you both one of my hand painted miniatures you all know i do a lot of Sort of miniature painting in general so you can decide who wants a alternative army's goblin and who wants an alternative army's orc they're both white metal and they're very collectible the final thing is some of you have sort of wondered like what actually happens in my head well what actually happened was well, 